Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the fish market across the street from the ICM mall. And these are all fresh fish that I'm gonna show you, the two sides of the aisle. You can also buy dried fish and smoked fish from several markets, probably eight to 10 fish markets sell dried fish. So these are the prices. They range from 220 to 350. And these little fish, these were caught this morning. Most of the smaller fish were caught within 10 hours ago or less. And they have eels and they have all different, every species of fish in the Philippines is on display here somewhere. Even some squid that weigh up to three or four kilos, which I find really interesting. So right now we're gonna, I'll show you those. Shrimp is at a good price this week. 300 pesos is about $6 per kilo. That's a great price. For the bigger shrimp, it goes up to 350. Those are, these are prawns, 350. And then this is squid. And then this is all fresh fish. I don't know what kind of fish this is, but they have large fish here. It looks like a catfish. Ma'am, is that a catfish? Catfish? Blue marlin. Blue marlin? Okay, this is what's left. Okay, salamat. Blue marlin. So you could see they, and that was probably caught today. They, they would not be able to freeze that. Some of the fish. The shrimp, like the, a lot of these shrimps, 300 is a great price. Very nice price, thank you. I, okay, so now this is, the, this is the fish market and it goes on for two more rows this way. And then there's a pork market over here. That's pretty much any kind of fish that that is caught in the Philippines is available in this fish market. Okay, me, I came here to get some calamansi. Now this is the kind of fish that Daisy used to make a hamburger patty. It's basically, in America we would call that spearing, we would call it bait fish, but fried up with some garlic and salt and pepper, with see a little bit of seasoning and flour, that makes an excellent hamburger. An excellent hamburger. They also have crustaceans. These are snails. Those are steamers, baby steamers, and then clams, and different types of mollusks. This is a bigger steamer. We used to get these by the thousand pounds. Three or four people, we'd go out with a rake and catch them right in my backyard, but no more. These are blue claw crabs. They're, these are a little bit small. They'd be, you'd not be allowed to keep these in America, but they are here. And this is a different kind of squid for 420 a kilo. Then there's, we're gonna go to the pork market in the middle. There's eggs. Now the large eggs went up to 850 from seven a while ago. The small eggs are still seven pesos. My inhapon. And now this is the meat market. You just, there's a delineation mark. Over there there's fruits and vegetables fresh bananas, fresh papaya, fresh coconut, fresh grapes, 
whatever's fresh, there's even oranges today. And this is the park market. Now, I don't know what the park is per pound. Let's go take a look. 320. 320 a pound is a great price, actually. It's like 370 a pound in the uh, in the supermarket. And there's many pork stores. Oranges went up quite a bit. They went from like seven pesos to 35 pesos for an orange. I don't know what these are. There's no price. And they have kiwis, potatoes. We're gonna go to see what the potatoes are. Strawberries, my hop on. Is that dragon fruit? Mango? Mangostan? Salamat. I never saw that before. Thank you. Okay, now behind the meat and the fish are vegetable markets. Many, many vegetable markets. So we'll go on for about another three minutes. This is a stand that has quite a variety but it's not where I shop and now that I'm on my fasting diet I'm not shopping anywhere I only came here for what is called calamansi and I'm looking they're all green dark green that means they're fresh so I'm going to get some calamansi I'll ask this fella over here I know a little bit my hop on Amiga, pila for the for the ahas, ahas. Ahas, 180, sir. 180. So the garlic went from 100 pesos to 180. For the onions, palihog pila, 180. Salamat. And the cabbage, 65. Thank you. So the cabbage remained pretty much the same. And the carrots, pila for the carrots. How many? Huh? 75%. 75. That's low. That's low this week. Thank you. Salamat. That's a really good price. And carrots were 125 the last time I was in here. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. This is the little store I shop from. This is, I've been shopping here since the beginning of time. Amiga, do you have Palihog Calamansi? Calamansi, the small one, the red one. The, 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 the one there. That where? Down where is the Calamansi? Where, sir? Oh, Naug. You have to say Calamansi Naug. One hundred? No, that one's in Kamasi. And how many pila for 60 the... Sixty per kilo. Sixty? <laughs> how much you need? I'll get a one kilo. They have... These are fresh. One kilo. This is our new arrival for today. And I wish to know... For potatoes, pila this week? Potato? Yeah. 125 per kilo. 125 per kilo, thank you. We have marble potatoes. I, no, I'm not going to eat potatoes. I just wanted to know the price. I'm making a blog. Oh, okay. And what, for the, uh, for the lettuce, it's not lettuce, it's... Chinese pitch eye. Yeah. Chinese pitch eye, pila. 60? 80. 80 per kilo. Wow, the prices came down in the last two weeks. I wish I was going to eat foods. Okay. <clears throat> well, 
And and let me may I ask the price of broccoli? Sure, the broccoli today is two thirty to two forty. Two thirty to two forty. Yeah. And what about the cauliflower is one fifty to one sixty. That's cheap. That's low. Gamai this week. Oh, I'm on a diet. Otherwise, I would buy that. I like cauliflower. Okay, so. I wish to pay you. What is your name? Glenda. Glenda? Glenda? Yeah, Glenda. That's my name. <laughs> Salamat, Glenda. Great so, name. Very nice name. Oh, guapa. So this area back here. Now, if you go back further, they sell soda and rice and farm food. Food for chickens, right? For the pigs. Anahan. Yeah, yeah. Anahan in the back. Let me let me put let me put this down. Uh, How many pesos? 50. Only sixty pesos. Fifty pesos. You want a fifty? Okay. So I'm not Glenda. <laughs> What's your name, sir? What's the name of your blog? Alpha Male Construction. Alpha Male. Alpha Male Construction. Construction. What is, what is construction? That's the name because I I used to be a contractor. Oh, uh, so that's what Alpha Male Construction is for the construction. Okay. So we're going to go now, we're going to go to where the feed is in the back. Bing. Bring your diamond steak. Would you put that in my bag for me, please? <laughs> I cannot. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I'm a rice up by it. Okay, so, so that, the, the price of vegetables this week has gone way, way down. Way down. I guess it's season. I've not seen the price of these vegetables this inexpensive since years ago, actually. You know, the price of cabbage has been 90 pesos for the last two months. So in the back here, this is the back of the farmer's market. They sell soda and food to feed the cows, I mean the pigs and chickens, and they sell rice. Hello, my unhappen. I said that right, my unhappen, no? Yeah. Oh, salama. Salama. So they they sell bulk soda too, bulk. And and this is the back of the market, and then they sell food for the for the hogs, yeah, hog food. Yes. Why? And, and then my unhappen. So now we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the ICM mall. Now on the weekend, there's a flea market around the corner here. We're gonna go here. I'll show you where the flea market is. Uh, and, and well, they sell clothes. This is where they sell clothes. Mine hop on. This whole building here for about 300 feet only sells clothes, they sell shoes, they sell sneakers, uh, women's blouses and bras. This is basically this whole building that you, you see, and I'm gonna zoom in on down there, and then I'm gonna end the block. So this whole building that you see sells, it's like an, a giant ukai ukai store, but it sells, they buy b bins or bells of shoes, bells of uh, blankets, sheets for the bed, pillowcases, any kind of apparel for humans and they sell sneakers and shoes up to size 12, roughly. 
after size 12, sometimes they have one or two pairs. So thanks for watching. And we are, if you, that big building at the end, that's the ICM Mall. So to get here, you would just walk outside the ICM Mall from the front door and just walk straight across the street into the wet market. They also sell food at a really good price, cooked food, and they sell, but it's all Filipino food, but it might be half the price that you'd pay in a restaurant. So thanks for watching, and I'm Ping Parmi, which of course means take care always from the Philippines, baby.